My greatest um, achievement, apart from pissing off uh, Wonder Woman uh, last season, was uh, being banned from a place called Black Sheep. <laughs> um, do you know how cool that is to be banned from Black Sheep? <laughs> yeah, woo! Yeah, man. <laughs> it just means you're the blackest sheep in the history of Black Sheep. <laughs> it just means you know, you're, you're the biggest deviant in a room full of fake deviants, you know, it's just like, they, they don't want you there. And so, um, um, yeah, just fucking black sheep. And so I, feel, I felt really good. I felt like, wow, I've come to myself. And, um, you know, even, um, and normally it takes a lot of work, right? Hard work, uh, and perseverance and dedication and blah, blah, blah. And, I, yeah, I, was, I just showed up. I didn't even fucking do anything, you know? I just, that's pure talent. That's fucking black sheep. It's like, it's a knighthood of sort, you know. It's a, I feel like I've been knighted as Sir Black Sheep. You know? It's like mirror, mirror on the wall who's the blackest sheep of them all. It's you again. Um, yeah, so I felt, uh, normally you have to work, you know, like years of hard work and blah, blah, throwing away your family and friends. It's a hard, lonely road, and it's not like a crash course in yoga, you know, like a one-month crash course for the Iyengar School of Future Rapists. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> um, this takes, yeah, a lot of dedication and uh, stuff like that. And now I feel like uh, even the, uh, the devil would ban me from hell, you know, because, um, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just too shit for him that, you know, it's like, oh, this guy, he's too, he's trouble, oh, he's just trouble, this guy is just <laughs> fucking trouble, I can't have him in hell, you know, no, 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 he's gonna ru ruin our reputation, <laughs> this guy, is like, don't let him in, fuck that, no, 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 he's not allowed, and, um, so what do I do, I, I gay crash hell a couple of times, just because I can, and uh, because security is kind of lax, you know. No one's actually trying to get into hell, like, deliberately. <laughs> so I get crash hell, and they figure out that I'm there just because everyone's partying too much, and there's too much happiness everywhere suddenly, and then, and then they find me at this, um, at this rape, uh, sorry, rave, um, <laughs> convention and everyone's having a great time and and then his little uh, you know the Satan's minions they kind of escort me out like this and they're looking at me all like envious and with lots of awe and you know because and they're Satan's minions you know they look like Santa's elves except uh, they have horns and uh, hooves and you know and they're just escorting me out like a few times and and now the devil's all fucked up he's just like he look i make lucifer which is the devil look like jesus and literally too because he's grown a beard and he's stopped eating he stopped shaving and he's uh, he's not roasting people he's not partying <laughs> and he's really stressed out because I might displace him at the next election, right? <laughs> so he's just like, fuck, what do we do, what do we do? And then he, he has a meeting with Jesus. <laughs> That's another achievement of mine. Getting Jesus and Satan to sit together to discuss where to put me, uh, my new home or whatever. And so Satan is going, oh, fuck, well, this guy's trouble, man. He's just fucking trouble, man. What do we do with him, man? And Jesus is just like sprawled on the sofa. And Jesus Christ, man, aren't you bothered, man? He could fuck shit up for both of us, man. Fucking asshole, man. And Jesus is like, hey, bro, chill out, bro. Smoke a bong, man. <laughs> because he's black, obviously. So, <laughs> I know what to do. We put him in limbo and, uh, and then, uh, you know, leave him there until he loses his memory or black sheepery or whatever. <laughs> And then this um, Satan is like, are you nuts, man? He's gonna fuck up that place too, man. He's gonna party like it's 1980 or something, man. He's gonna fucking, <laughs> he's gonna ruin everything, bro. And then uh, Jesus is like, I have one more idea, bro. Let's just send him back to India, where anyway there's it's idiots and assholes and you know bureaucracy and corruption and rape and violence. We we'll send him back to India and no one will notice anyway. <laughs> That's a good idea, man. I run it by my board of directors, man, on Monday. That's cool, bro. One love, bro. <laughs> One love, bro.
whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> and so I feel like like this little puppy dog, you know, this little black sheep dog, maybe, has been kicked around from heaven and to hell, from hell. And I don't know where to go. I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know. If I'm looking for my forever home. <laughs> Someone, some, please, please. Maybe I found it. <laughs> I have come to the right place. <laughs> my forever home. Yeah. So, next time you see a Nigerian, don't hate on him, you know, because he just might be Jesus. <laughs> <laughs>